On April 2024, we had an annular solar eclipse. If you missed that one, then don't worry because later this year on October, we have a partial solar eclipse. But if you can't wait for that, then don't worry because we already know the path of totality for the next total solar eclipse, which will occur on April 2027. And this one is going to be a big one. So keep watching to find out which countries will experience the next total solar eclipse. A total solar eclipse happens when the moon passes between the Earth and the sun, which is different to a lunar eclipse. During a lunar eclipse, the Earth casts a shadow on the moon. A total solar eclipse can only happen at a specific time of the year called the nodes, which is twice a year during the equinoxes when the moon and the Earth are at their closest point to each other. The next total solar eclipse will take place on April 2027. And if you want to witness all of its glory, then you will need to be somewhere along the path of totality, which has already been predicted by NASA. According to NASA's official eclipse website, the center line of totality is the path that the eclipse will follow. It says that any location along this center line will experience totality for about 4 minutes and 17 seconds. As you move away from the center line, the amount of totality decreases until it reaches 0% when you are outside of the path of totality. But before we reveal where the path of totality will pass through, so roughly when is totality expected to begin and end? Well, according to NASA, the partial phases of the eclipse will begin for those in North Africa and most of Europe at 10.15 UTC on April 2027. Then, totality will begin at 11.07 UTC on April 2027 and will last for 4 minutes and 17 seconds for those in Algeria, Morocco, Tunisia, and Libya. Those in the UK, France, Italy, Greece, and Turkey will also see the full eclipse, but will only experience totality for less than a minute. Let's now get into the countries that will experience the full 4 minutes and 17 seconds of totality during the solar eclipse. The first country we'll talk about is Morocco. The capital city of Rabat will experience totality for the full duration of 4 minutes and 17 seconds. In total, 7.3 million people live within the path of totality in Morocco. The eclipse will start here first in Africa and will move across the Strait of Gibraltar into mainland Spain. However, no part of Spain will experience the full 4 minutes and 17 seconds of totality. The longest duration of totality in Spain will be just under 2 minutes and will be felt around the southern coastal areas. From there, the eclipse will move across the Mediterranean Sea towards Algeria. The capital city of Algiers will experience totality for the full duration of 4 minutes and 17 seconds. In total, 36 million people live within the path of totality in Algeria. Most of the population live well outside of the path of totality. With the highest concentration of people in the capital city of Algiers and the second largest city, Oran. Next, the path of totality moves across to Tunisia. The capital city of Tunis will experience totality for 4 minutes and 12 seconds. Only about 1.4 million people live within the path of totality in Tunisia. The vast majority of the population live in the capital city of Tunis and the second largest city, Sfax, which lies just outside of the path of totality. The eclipse will continue its path eastwards towards Libya. The capital city of Tripoli will experience totality for 4 minutes and 17 seconds. In total, 7.4 million people live within the path of totality in Libya. But again, the vast majority of the population lives in the capital city of Tripoli and the second largest city Benghazi, both of which lie on the coast. Next, the path of totality enters Egypt. Cairo, the capital city, will experience totality for 4 minutes and 17 seconds. In total, 15 million people live within the path of totality in Egypt. Most of these people are in the north of the country and along the Nile River. The second largest city, Alexandria, lies just outside of the path of totality. The eclipse will cross through Sudan next. The capital city of Khartoum will experience totality for 4 minutes and 16 seconds. In total, 4.3 million people live within the path of totality in Sudan. Again, most of these people are in the north of the country near the capital city of Khartoum. Next, the eclipse will enter Saudi Arabia. 
the capital city of Riyadh will experience totality for 3 minutes and 52 seconds. In total, 50 million people live within the path of totality in Saudi Arabia. The vast majority of the population lives in the west of the country, primarily in and around the capital city of Riyadh. The eclipse will continue its path eastwards towards Yemen. The capital city of Sana'a will experience totality for 4 minutes and 17 seconds. In total, 3.3 million people live within the path of totality in Yemen. However, due to the ongoing conflict in the country, it's unlikely that many people will actually be able to witness the eclipse. The path of totality will then cross through Somalia, which is the final country before it leaves Africa and heads across the Red Sea towards the Middle East. Mogadishu, the capital city of Somalia, will experience totality for 4 minutes and 17 seconds. In total, 2.7 million people live within the path of totality in Somalia. Again, due to the ongoing conflict in the country, it's unlikely that many people will actually be able to witness the eclipse. The eclipse will then head across the Red Sea and the Bab el Mandeb Strait towards the Arabian Peninsula. It will then travel across Saudi Arabia, Yemen, and Oman before exiting into the Pacific Ocean. In total, 89 million people live within the path of totality, with 73% of those people being Muslim. Due to the upcoming Hajj, many Muslims around the world will likely use this opportunity to witness the solar eclipse and use it as a once-in-a-lifetime chance to complete one of the five pillars of Islam. If you want to learn more about what a solar eclipse actually is and how it differs to a lunar eclipse, then make sure to check out my video on the recent annular solar eclipse that happened on April 2024. Now let me know in the comments below if you plan on traveling to one of these countries in order to witness the solar eclipse, or if you will be staying at home and waiting for one of the following solar eclipses. There will be a total solar eclipse on October 2024, which will be visible in North America, South America, Europe, Africa, and the Middle East. Then there will be another total solar eclipse on April 2027, which will be visible in Southern Africa, and then the one we discussed in this video on April 2027, which will be visible in Northern Africa and the Middle East. And if you enjoyed this video, then make sure to subscribe, because I will be making lots more just like it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.